Once again, we are at the website called metachart.com, and I'm going to show you how you can use the same data that we started off with the first video today um, to build a bar chart. So we're going to go down to the bar chart and select that chart option. We're going to go ahead and go with a vertical bar, but you could go with a horizontal bar. And the background color is white and the border color is blue. And we're just going to go with a normal bar chart, not a three-dimensional one. I'm clicking on the next tab now and we're going to say that our data is going to be entered and there are eight bars, so eight entries here. Number of items will be eight. The series details will just say popular ice cream flavors. Okay. Don't turn on the advanced mode unless you want to be really creative about it. And just leave defaults as best you can on this one for your first one and then you can play around with it on your next one if you'd like. So I'm going to scroll down here. So we have eight bars and we need to label the sections. So the first one we had, we're just going to label the different types of ice cream. And then once we have the types of ice cream, we're going to put the value for each. So that's how many people said they would like each flavor of ice cream. So just like I was doing before, I looked at my range of data points. My range goes from 2 to 18, 2 for key lime, and 18 for chocolate. And so you want to make sure that your bar graph will fit between those two bounds on your range. So we'll start off with our first flavor, cookie dough. And the number of people who chose that flavor was nine. And then I'm going to my next one. The next one was chocolate and mint. And the value for that one was six. Next one is strawberry. And the value for that one was 14. The next one was chocolate. And the value for that one was 18. So strawberry was 14, chocolate was 18. Notice I'm just entering the data and then I'll go in and change the colors later if I wanted to, I don't have to. It's just a little helpful for those that like the visual aid. So the next one is Neapolitan. And the value for that one was five people liked that flavor. Key Lime is next, and two people liked that flavor. Vanilla is next, and three people said they liked that flavor. And Bubblegum was last, and three people said they liked that flavor as well. So I'll go in and just change my colors a little bit. We'll call this Cookie Dough, which is kind of a cream color. Chocolate mint will make that a minty color. That doesn't look very minty. How about that? Okay, strawberry. Go with some color of pink, light pink maybe. Chocolate is kind of a brown color. Neapolitan, eh, we'll go with red, reddish orange. Key lime, we'll go with lime green. Vanilla, we'll go with kind of a yellowy cream color. And bubblegum, we'll go with a different shade of pink. There we go, bubblegum. 
So there are my different flavors. So now I'm going to go to my labels. So I want my graph to say survey of favorite flavors, favorite ice cream flavors. And my source will be, we want to tell the, the observer where we pulled the data from. And it said that these were students, so we'll just say college students. And we can label our y-axis, that's the vertical axis, with number of people who chose a flavor. Let's just say number of people. I think it will be obvious once you see the bar graph. And then the y-axis we could say is... Let's just make it nothing. It'll be obvious again. We want it, we don't have units to attach to it unless we had ice cream cones or something like that, or scoops, I guess. So we'll just leave it as y axis is just straight numbers. And the x axis is going to represent flavors. So again, let's just leave it at nothing because the bars will be described with the words we already listed in the data section. So the next thing we do is check for title and subtitle fonts, which we can leave as they are. If you wanted to play with this some more in your own time, you're welcome to change fonts, etc. And then the last tab is the display. And it gives us this beautiful display of ice cream flavors. Survey of favorite ice cream flavors from college students number of people is on the vertical axis, the flavor labels are along the bottom, and I just think these look so professional and so nice, and you can save them and share them if you want. So this is what I'm hoping you're capable of building independently with a sketch, which is similar to what my sketch looked like. It's a lot prettier, it's a lot less messy, but the data still looks the same. So give this a try, do your best, and hopefully this helps you understand how to build bar charts and pie charts. Notice that with this bar chart, we didn't have to find the percentages. That only is necessary for pie charts because you have to figure out how much of the wedges are one flavor over another. So you do have to calculate a little bit more to get a pie chart than a bar chart, but sometimes a pie chart is so much easier to see the data. It just depends on the situation. Thanks for watching.